So in order to understand that, what you have to understand is something we haven't talked about yet, and that is how does a metal deform? So when a metal wants to deform, what happens is, is when I take this piece of metal and I bend it, all right, what I'm actually doing is I am passing what we call a dislocation through the material. Now, what is a dislocation? Um, the usual analogy is um, if you're at your roommate's place and they're moving into their dorm and they say, hey, help me lay out this carpet I got. All right, and you unroll the carpet and you put it on the floor. Now, there's two ways the carpet's not going to fit right on the floor and you need to move it. There's two ways to move it. You can either grab the edge of the carpet and yank it, right, and try to pull it in place. Now, if it's a really big carpet, that's really hard to do, all right? A much easier way to do it is actually, if you're smart, you'll just put a little ripple in the carpet, and then you'll push it with your feet all the way down to the length of the carpet. And when you get to the other end, the carpet will have moved. That little ripple is called a dislocation. And in metals, what happens is that's how they want to plastically deform, is that dislocation wants to move through the material from one side to the other, and as it's doing so, I'm actually deforming the material plastically. So, if you want to make something harder, what you have to do is figure out how to slow down those dislocations, those little ripples that are trying to run through the, the metal. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do it. The simplest way to do it is what's called work hardening. That means that what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a hammer or I'm going to bend it a bunch of times. And if I bend this thing back and forth like this a whole bunch of times, the metal actually becomes harder and harder and harder to bend. So, for example, I can demonstrate it with this piece of wire. This is if I take this piece of wire and I bend it, right, and then I bend it back, and I bend it again, you'll see that it's actually very hard to bend it in the same place. That hard, that part's become hard, and so now it wants to bend over here. And if I keep bending it, the, the bend actually propagates down. So it, it's very hard to bend the material in the same place over and over again because it's becoming very hard. I've got lots of dislocations piling up. They get tangled, and that makes it stronger. The same thing happens when you cold roll copper. All right, it will increase its tensile strength. Now, how else could you strengthen it? Well, you could, in addition to work hardening it, you can actually add an impurity. An impurity, what an impurity does is it will actually slow down that dislocation. It gets into the lattice and it messes it up and it makes it hard for that dislocation to propagate through the material.